Alright guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial, and uh, this is episode 2 of the Minecraft tutorial. Um, now in this episode, we're going to be um, talking about health, and how to regenerate your health, and uh, you regenerate your health with food, so uh, we're going to be talking about food, how to get it, how to cook it, how to grow it. So, in the last episode, we killed some chickens, we got raw chicken right here. Now, in this episode, it's going to be about replenishing health. Now, as you can see, the bottom right, my hunger bar, the little chicken bone things, is down by two and a half. And I have nine and a half hearts, and it won't regenerate unless I have nine chicken bones. So, I can't eat the chicken raw, or else it'll poison me, and it'll drain my hunger bar really fast. So, what I'm going to do is make a furnace to cook the chicken. For a furnace, you're going to need 8 cobblestone, and you just put it around the crafting table with a hole in the middle, just like that, you get a furnace. Now, uh, you just place the furnace by right-clicking wherever you want it. Now, now I'm going to show you how to cook food. The furnace can cook food, chicken, pork, beef, pretty much any of the meats. It can cook stones and stuff, but we'll get into that later. So, what you want to do is... Put what you're cooking at the top, in this case it's seven raw chicken. Now one coal will heat up each, will heat up eight items. So one coal is enough to heat up seven. And the flame will burn and this arrow will go until the end. Eventually, I'll have cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. Alright, so there are other sources of fuel you could use to power your furnace. You can use wooden planks, these wooden logs, or sticks, or any wooden tool. The coal is probably the best, but you also can use lava buckets, and they heat up a hundred blocks, but we don't have any lava right now, so it's okay. Coal will do. Now, um, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back when it's day to show you how to get more food. See you later. Alright guys, so I'm back and it's morning time. All the monsters burn in the morning. So uh yeah. Now first things first, my hunger's down by three. And I'm pretty sure this chicken will restore three of your hunger bars. Now if you just hold the right trigger with the food you want to eat in your hand, just to make a nom 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 noise. And now my hunger is full, and my heart's regenerated. That's all. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how you can obtain food. Now, first, if you find a pig, a cow, or chicken, you could just go up to them and whack them. Now I have a sword, so I'm going to whack up my sword. And I dropped a pork chop, only one, because it wasn't a fat pig. It's nice and skinny. Action skin and pig. Yeah, yeah, pig. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you want to sprint, just double tap W, and you could sprint. But it raises your hunger a lot more than normal. All right. So today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple farm. Now, uh. What you can do for you to start to make a farm, if you're not as lucky as me, or if you're as lucky as me, you'll find a village and you can just use crops from the village, but I'm not that lucky. So what I'm going to do is go over here to this water source that's not too far away from my house, so it's not a huge deal. And I'm going to plant crops all around here. I'm just going to dig a little space to plant some crops. If you plant crops near water, they grow a lot better. Alright, I'm just going to make another crafting table. Just four blocks. And I'm going to place it down next to my farm area. There. What I'm going to do is create the next tool that you guys need to know how to make. Oops, there you go. And it's a hoe. 
Now just two sticks again, like a shovel, take stone or wood, or any material that you can build tools with, and just two right there like that. Yeah. Oh. Now, if you hold the ground, you just right click the ground, the dirt just like that, and it becomes more fertile, it lines through it, and as you can see right there, that's like super fertile dirt. And that is because it's next to water. Anything four blocks away from water will get fertilized by this water. So, uh, and if you walk on it or stomp on it like this, it turns back into dirt, which you don't want because you can't plant crops. Now, I'm going to plant wheat, potatoes, and carrots. You can find potatoes and carrots from, like, zombies dropping them when you kill them for some reason. But that's a thing. And uh, if you see the lidges, uh, the lidges are the most easy way to find them. But first, we'll start with seeds because I could get seeds right here. Now, I get seeds, you just punch really tall grass. And that's a seed. It has a chance of dropping a seed. I wouldn't punch it with the tool because it'll wear away the tool's durability. So I'm going to get about 5 to 6 seeds. You just punch this grass like you're going crazy. You know, just punch your nails. Clean up, clean up. Alright, I'm going to add 6. I'll get one more. Just, you know, why the heck not? Just drop a seed there. Now, you just plant on it by right clicking. Uh, that was seven. You know, I'm gonna get four more. Right, just, you know, just destroy the grass. Two. Five. Five seeds. Oh, let's jump on my crops. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. And my chicken, that chicken is going to destroy the crops. Now you can't jump on the crops still, so that's going to be a problem-ish. So I'm going to build a little way out of here. Now, chicken ruined my crops. Now I'm going to sprint over this village and grab carrots and potatoes. They're a good source of food. Alright. As you can see here, this is an ideal farm. This is a more ideal farm. I need some potatoes. Here they look just like this. I'm just gonna grab all of them. I don't really need this anymore because there better be carrots. There may or may not be carrots here. Okay. So I don't think there are carrots here, which is fine. We're lucky, anyways. So we're just going to go off potatoes, which is okay. Potatoes are the same thing. Just, no, don't eat them. Don't eat them. Just place them down, just like this. Just like that. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do, so chickens don't keep walking on my crops, I'm going to make a fence. You're going to need sticks. I'm going to put a fence around This is how you make fence. Oops. I'm doing it the whole way again. Okay. Just like that, you get three fence. I'm probably going to need about that much. Okay, never mind. Nine fence. Eh, it's okay. I'm just going to put fence all around here. Okay, so I need more. Come on. Three, one, two, three. This should be enough. Nine more. I hear a zombie, but it's okay. It is a okay. And the fences are one and a half blocks high, so that monster cannot get through them. Oops. 
Now, yes, I know this looks really ugly, but I'm going to put this around because I just ran out of fences, but it's okay. Now monsters can't get in, it, but it looks really ugly. But I don't really care. We'll fix it later. This is just a temporary harm. I'm teaching you the easy fixes, guys. I'll just place I place torches around them so that they still have light so that it grows at night time. And my chicken the chicken got on it because I I hate chickens. They don't deserve to live. I'm just gonna destroy the chicken. Now one last thing is, oh, well, we're gonna eat first. All right, now chicken. There you go. <laughs> we're gonna make a fence gate just like this. That is regular. Right okay, it's the other way. <laughs> There we go. That's a fence gate. It's like a little door that I can just get through. Now nothing should be able to get in here, hopefully. And I placed that wrong. Don't mind my awesome building skills. Temporary. It's temporary. Skill, skill, skill. All right, guys. So uh, that's it for this episode. Next episode, I'll teach you how to make animal farms and maybe how to build better. <laughs> All right, see you next time, guys.